Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name's Dave Smith, Gutenberg core team member and full-time WordPress contributor. And today we're doing something a little bit different on the channel. And I'm very pleased to welcome here with me today, Ben Dwyer, who's a colleague of mine from Automatic. Say hello, Ben. Hello. Hello. So I, <laughs> I work with Dave. <laughs> um, we are working on the site editor um, and our main aim is to build tools inside the site editor, which make life better for people who are making themes. So improving the whole experience of, of the site editor uh, to help people to create new themes inside the editor. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's a really interesting mission we've got. And one of the things that we've been working on and what we're gonna talk about in this video today is the ability to add the post featured image to the cover block. And I know this is something that a lot of people have been talking about for a long time. It's been a long-standing wish list feature. So Ben, what's the big deal about this? Why, why are we doing this? Why have we put so much effort into making this happen? Yeah, so this is really important for themes. It's come up lots of in lots of themes we've been building in the past. We've been unable to do it, and it's been really frustrating. So um, the main points where this is useful is when you want to add um, a cover block to your template, so a lot a lot of posts want to have a big image at the top of their post and then mm. the the page title so or the post title and then maybe some other text in there or something like that and at yeah. the moment you'd have to manually add that to every post um so this would allow you to make the cover block part of the page template or the post temp template and yeah, then the cool. image would become your featured image and that you could put your post title block in there as well. So the whole block could be dynamic based on whatever was in the post or page, which means that you can have this as part of your template. You can also use the same thing on your index or archive template so that when you're viewing a list of all the posts, you would see the featured image with some text over the top. And because this is part of the cover block, it gives you all the same features that you have in the cover block. So you can also have uh, color overlays you can position the text on the image so it gives you all of the um the power of the cover block but using the featured image from the post yeah um, i can see that's that's really powerful so if you if you change the post featured image now it's just going to automatically reflect in the cover block so there's no exactly, yeah. like previously you might have had to manually go and do that every time now it's just mm -hmm. going to automatically update but you yeah. also get all the bells and whistles come to the cover block yeah that's i can see that's that's super powerful but a question i had is how is this different to we've already got a post featured image block have we not um so well how is this different to that like what's the main difference between the two yeah so the post featured image block is really useful but it doesn't allow you to put anything over the top of it so with the cover block you can you can have text over the top you can have the oh yeah you know colored overlays you can position where it goes and uh, none of that the post featured image is just an image so yeah. this is it, kind of gives you all those extra features. Wow. Yeah, I can really see how that can help. So we, we probably should have a look at it, right? We should probably yeah. dive into that. Should we do that? Different. Nice. So this is the Archeo theme by Automatic, right, Ben? Yeah, that's right. This is uh, our latest theme on the dog repo. It looks really it's a nice. theme I help work on. Ah. And um, so one of the problems we have with this theme, if I show you um, the post page, yeah, we we wanted this. Uh, but this is the top of the post. So you've got the post title, the date, and then you've got all your content down here, right? And comments and stuff. Um, yeah. And we wanted the top of the page to have. So this is the featured image on the right. We wanted the featured image to go right the way across, and then have the text over yeah. the top of it. I but see. Because we didn't have this feature, we weren't able to. Right. So what is it now at the moment? Can we see that in the editor? Yeah, so um, if I edit this now, I can show you how this is set up and then we can go through the steps to use this new feature in the cover block to make right. the image go right the way across. Let's have a look. Okay, so um, first thing, I will just switch to use the uh, the single post template. Okay, so this, uh, this is the template for displaying a single post. Yeah, I see. So... It won't have all the content in it, but it will. It's yeah. like the outline of what you would see, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you have placeholders for post content. It shows you the post content block. So we've got here yeah. post title, post date, and then our post featured image here. Okay. So at the moment they're in a columns block. They're sort of wrapped in 
this journal columns block. Yeah. And then post date and post title are actually already in a cover block. And then we've got the post featured image block here. Okay. You can see we can that, see that in list. Here. Yeah, that would be helpful. Right. So two columns, one holds the featured image, the other one holds the text. And what yeah. we really want is the, the cover block to span the entire width and for the text to be over the top of, of an image, which is your featured image. We can't do that exactly. in trunk at the moment. We can't do that in the current version of Gutenberg, but yeah. with this new PR we can. Okay, yeah, so let's have a look. Andre Dragonescu has created this PR, uh, this one, which uh, is hopefully going to be tested soon, um, merged soon. That's why I'm running locally, so I can use that feature, which That's gives brilliant. me this button on the um, cover block which uh, switches it to use the featured image. So if I press okay. that now, obviously you won't see the featured image because this isn't a single post. This is a uh, like a template, but now this cover block will be using that featured image. So if I save that, yeah, you can see what that looks like. Um, where's my post gone? I need to open that up, don't I? Um, so let's see a see. single post, that'll be all we need. So we can just go home and then, yeah. So when we see this, we should be able to see the featured image already on that cover block. So it might look a bit odd to start with because we need to see some. Yeah, so there's the oh, featured there image no, in the cover block and there's the other one. Obviously now okay. we've got yeah. them side by side. So we need to- That's quite a cool effect, but it's not what we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's actually quite interesting. Right. So now I can, if I, if I just drag this cover block out of the columns. Yeah. And then I can delete those columns. There we get rid of those. Don't need that anymore. And, and there we go. Save that. And then hopefully when we reload this, yep. it should go right the way across. There we are. And there we go. Excellent. And maybe so, we might even want to make it full width. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if we can actually. It's probably inside that group, but we could do things like make the back, a background color. Yeah, so we couldn't do with the feature. Probably image, right? we wanted. We might even want to turn that off altogether. Change the background color. Uh, so this is where we. Yeah. So then it would be over the top of the image. Although that probably isn't ideal because then it's hard to read the text, isn't it? So yeah, you can get those kind of features <clears throat> that are in the uh, in the cover block now, and combine them with your featured image. Yeah, that's super powerful, isn't it? Because I mean, I've seen people often wanting to have like particular visual treatments for their images when they use like that. So they might want to use a sort of a duo tone or they might want to use um, a particular background overlay color. Or, yeah, or, or do what you're doing here now, align the text in a very particular way. And that was just in, absolutely impossible with the current featured image block. Yeah, and now absolutely. with the Collins block, yeah, we're going to see. Yeah, exactly. I can see this is going to open up a lot of doors. All right, so that's really cool. So now we've seen how this new feature is going to work. When do we think we can expect that for users? Um, I'm guessing this will probably be landing in the Gutenberg plugin first, right? Yeah, so hopefully this will be merged in the next few days and should make it into Gutenberg 13.0. Amazing. And uh, where can and people then, get hold of that? From the Gutenberg uh, plugin in the .org repository. Cool, so we just download that and install it. Yeah, I can just install it from your plugins page of your WordPress install. Nice. And, and then, then hopefully it will make it into WordPress 6.0, which yeah. I can't remember the dates for. Can you remember, Dave? Yeah, I've, I've got the, the, the release schedule here and it says basically we're coming up on um, the decision date for which features of or, or go into WordPress 6.0. And that is on the 5th of April. And then we then we go into the beta release cycle where no more features will be added. And it, the current date for release of WordPress 6.0 is the 24th of May. So unless you're using the Gutenberg plugin, it's probable that this feature won't be landing in a WordPress install near you until that point. But if you wanted to check this out early, yeah, like Ben said, you could download the Gutenberg plugin and then you'd be able to access the feature early. Um, and that's quite powerful. Okay, uh, thanks very much to Ben for joining us this week. Um, if you enjoyed this uh, collaboration, then hopefully you can let us know in the comments, um, like and subscribe the video as well to let us know. Uh, thank you, Ben, for joining us and taking the time to be here today. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. And we will see you all next time. See ya. Bye. Bye.